Hi, welcome, Simon here, and hope you're doing well. In this video, I'll be trying to recover the data off of this Acer Nitro laptop. So what happened to this computer is there was a power surge and it looks like the motherboard is dead. It is not turning on and I need all my information off of the laptop. So I'll be walking you from start to finish and how to recover those data. All right, again, this is the Acer Nitro 5. Uh, first thing you need to have is a Phillips screwdriver and let me get the screwdriver here okay so let's go ahead and remove the screws it looks like the one in the middle screw does not come off let's work on the rest of other screws here To me, it looks like all the screws are the same size, so it is okay if you mix match the screws. This is just a Phillips screwdriver, nothing special. I'm using a PH1, that is the size of the screwdriver. Alright, once you have removed all the screws, the next step is to get yourself maybe a plastic prying tool or maybe a metal prying tool. If you do not have them, that's alright. What you want to do is you want to kind of go uh, underneath that plastic cover right there. You can use your fingernail to go to go underneath it and try to pry it open. Okay, you're going to hear some cracking noise which is normal. That middle screw should come right off and then what you want to do is to slide towards your body to remove the back cover okay once you have removed the back cover pretty much you can see the entire internal part of your laptop here so let me quickly walk you through it I know that we're trying to recover the data but at least I try to explain to you what you see in the laptop you're gonna see a battery here and two of the DDR4 RAM, CPU fan, the heatsink, the motherboard, the Wi-Fi card, and then here would be your M.2 SSD drive. Got a Phillips screwdriver. First, we need to remove the screw here in the middle, okay? And that way you can remove this bracket so there are two slots, top and bottom. There's only one hard drive was installed, which is the bottom part. And what you can do is slide it to your left at 45 degree angle to remove that hard drive, the M.2 drive. Okay. The second slot here has no hard drive, as you can see that the hard drive, uh, there wasn't any hard drive but it's an empty slot for you to upgrade if you need more storage capacity. Now this is the thing that you need to buy which is the M.2 adapter and this reads the hard drive. Um, so that hard drive that we removed earlier off of the bottom slot, all you can do is to slide it in like so and then put a screw, lock it in and now you have like a USB, somewhat like a USB thumb drive. And you, you need to plug this one into a working computer. Okay, hopefully you have a secondary computer. Uh, you plug it in and you should be able to access your data. Assuming that the hard drive is in a working condition. All right. So um, if you're not sure where to buy this USB adapter, what I'll do is I'll link it down below. And I got this from Amazon. And I think it's about $20, $20 or so. Um, go ahead and check out the link down description below. And this way you can recover your data. And then maybe time to, you know, uh, retire the computer and move on with the new 
new laptop all right i hope this video is helpful for you and if you do find this video is helpful in a small return i'd like you to smash the like button for me if you can and if you haven't subscribed to the channel please feel free to subscribe i really appreciate you for doing that thanks for watching until next time bye now